Jam School Remix. This is the real inside scoop from a magician and his escape artist friend on how to escape from a straitjacket. Your arm's gonna go right in there, almost like a backwards jacket that you're putting on. The idea is to make it as tight as possible. <laughs> Do your best to try to get out. We're gonna debunk some myths and legends about straitjackets. First, is there such thing as tricky magic shop easy to escape from straitjackets? Absolutely. Yes, okay, and what's different about the tricky magic shop ones? You know, they'll have like hidden pockets or Trap doors or like secret handles or Velcro straps. straps. Yeah. Is it true that straight jackets are designed to be completely escape proof? Nope. No. <laughs> no, they're not. Is it true that you need to dislocate your shoulder to do the straight jacket escape? <laughs> no. It's killing you to say it. Is. I know. It is. You gotta do two things. First of all, you gotta be very flexible, that is true. And second right. of all, you can't be claustrophobic. Not at all. It will freak you out. So it is true there are a bunch of different ways to escape for straight jackets, right? There's right. different order of operations. But the problem is is you can't see because some of it happens inside the <laughs> Jacket. The this clear. I can't. <laughs> the clear cutaway straight the, jacket. The right. Straight that. raincoats. <laughs> exact same thing. Instead of the, the the leather straps, you just have industrial like mountain climbing buckles here. There okay, we go. we're gonna go around here. I think you grab this. I'm gonna turn you around this way. Right there. Right. And there's one last strap. Okay. Both you and I have this in common. The very right. first move that we want to do is maneuver your arm over your shoulder. Right. To give you that extra yeah. slack to get it over your head. What you want to do is let your air out and weirdly hug, hug yourself, yourself even tighter, right? Absolutely. And when you do that, you let it all out and you actually hug it and it feels tighter. But that gives you the slack that you need to work your arms up over your shoulder. That's right, so you get just enough slack to pull it so up. So slide it up over your shoulder. Boom, there you go. Now, your focus, my focus, I'm no longer focused up here. Right. Instead, I'm working down here where you notice I've got a little bit to come through. So you squeeze and you get there. Yeah. And again, you gotta keep hugging until. Yeah, we'll get your hand off there. Thanks, buddy. There yeah. you go. There you yeah. go. Now yeah. you're back on. Sometimes you'll get snagged on there, and if you do, you gotta, again, this is a yeah. flexibility moment. You gotta come down and around. There you go. And now, there we go. Now you're to the part where you don't want to freak out. Brian and I do it a little bit differently once we get to this point. Brian favors taking your elbow. I hook, uh, I hook this on here. To his knee. Oh, man. Oh, it's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go up. You're, you're, <laughs> you're going to slide. pop your elbow there we go. out of the jacket and slide your hand in. And, and you may way. have the wrong body shape yeah. for this because everyone's... And that's why there's a couple different methods. I'm able to actually reach <laughs> down. And start trying to get the, the shackles and the buckles and start working on that. And as you can see, Brian's popping that and he's doing good, and you can work your way up with that. Now for you, yeah. you probably use the method I use. I can't slip my arm out like Brian can. You wanna reach behind you, your hands in the feel through, you're gonna grab the, the slack part. You're gonna to wanna to work this part out here. So grab that, work it through the first buckle, pull it out, so you get all that slack. Yep. Now pull it down and, and bend forward as you let go. And what that does, it ejects this part open and lets that strap go free. Now bend over and pull it off. There you go. There you Work go. it off. Go, baby, go, baby, Work go, it off like a bad sweater. Yeah. You got it. Put it back control. There we go. Here's a fun fact. Up until the mid-90s, you could buy straight jackets straight from the manufacturer until the FDA began to regulate their sale. Now you might have to get a little bit more creative, or better yet, just get a tailor to make one exactly for your body. How about that? You know the drill. Scam School Remix is the best of our nine years and 600 plus episodes of Scam School. Take a trip and learn everything in less than half the time. Or better yet, go see me perform this exact straight jacket escape as my big finale at the show we did at South by Southwest.